What's going on everyone? Kyle Gears here, Senior Customer Success Manager for Asset Management Clients at YCharts. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through ways to analyze and communicate rising rate environments. To begin, we're gonna use some index tracking ETFs, such as AGG, LQD, Investment Grade Corporates, and then a couple things on the other end of the credit quality spectrum, such as bank loans and high yield. Now, once we have those items on the chart, we want to add the 10 year treasury. We'll go ahead and toss that onto the chart. And as soon as we do, we see a pretty inflated number at 148%. We're looking at a one year look back here, meaning the 10 year rate has actually risen 148% over the last trailing one year. But I want to take it a step further. I want to see the actual rate itself and its absolute value. So I'm going to make a quick formatting adjustment here so I can identify the rate itself. And we'll go ahead and make one more quick update, which makes it easy to identify where the highs were, where the lows were, and it explicitly states those values. Once we have that done, there's a lot going on in the chart. So what I can do is split that out based on a certain panel layout. I can basically split out the rates from performance of those products. Now it's easier to navigate, understand what's going on here and tell the full story. So if I'm looking at rates down below, I can even pinpoint where we hit the low at 52 basis points around August 6, 2020. I'll go ahead and adjust my date range here to see what has happened from the trough to the peak and how each sector within the fixed income market has performed. So we'll select August 6 here. We have our output and we see that high yield comes out on top followed by bank loan whereas the ag and LQD have underperformed pretty significantly. The other thing we can do is we can look back at historical time frames. So if I draw this out a little bit further, let's call it 10 years or so, I can pinpoint certain events or certain points in time where rates have risen. So if I hover over any point in the chart, I see dips or troughs in a sense, you know, let's call it July 2016, and that was when the Fed started raising rates again. It looks like they rose at somewhat similar velocity. So what happened the last time rates rose? I can go back and use that start date as my starting point. So we'll select 2016. We'll pick our exact date, July 6th. And what also helps me with plotting out the maximum and minimum on the chart is I know exactly when rates peaked. So 324 here on November 8th, 2018. So let's go ahead and cap that date off and see if we get a similar story here. So we'll choose November, grab our year as 2018 and select the eighth. So we see a similar situation where high yield outperforms, bank loans do well as well, but investment grade corporates and the ag tend to underperform in periods of rising rates. So with this, you have many other options. You can chart spreads, 10 to high yield option adjusted spreads, corporate option adjusted spreads. For more ideas like this, for analysis and communication, feel free to reach out to us at YCharts.